guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to give my bird cage a deep clean um these guys they typically get regular cleanups once or twice a week now with these guys it's a bit more frequent it really depends it's either three or four times a week a um, muffin over there she tends to like pooping on the corners i don't even know if you guys could see it but let me see so like you can see like she poops at the corners this is something this is an issue i had with my other cages as well but they were curved so it's just a whole issue but with these cages it's a bit better but she still poops on the corners so whenever i'm cleaning their cages you really see minimal on the center but you see a lot on the corners um, so there's really not much I could do about that, but yeah, so that's our regular cleanup. Now you might be wondering what's a deep cleanup. I literally take their cages outside. We are renovating our home, so it's going to look a bit different in the future, but I literally take their cages outside. Thank you guys. And I hold the cage down. Obviously my birds are not in there and their toys are not in there. I do leave the perches and I take out their food bowl. So the perches are in there. And that's about it. <laughs> the birds are not in there for obvious reasons. Um, and yeah, you might be wondering why I prefer doing a deep clean. It really depends. I don't really want to give a number, but we're looking at two to three times a year a deep clean. Now, I'll show you guys why I do a deep clean. So, I hope you guys could see it. I hope I'm in focus, but these are kind of some of the reasons why I do it. Sorry, the AC just went on, but like, can you see these dust sort of stuff? These are actually very hard for me to scrub down because like, it's like in these nooks and crannies. And after a while, they kind of look a bit unsightly. So I personally like having, you know, getting it over with and having it done. And then you could see like the rims of the outside of their cage. I actually do clean this because it's outside. It's a bit easier to be honest, but um, I'm just gonna kind of get it done with now that I am gonna actually take them out so yeah hopefully all these bits and nooks and crannies could be washed out which this means they get to come out who wants to come out first it's either gonna be blossom or kiwi oh kiwi be blossom to it hey guys oh, what Edward almost never comes out I have to kind of take him out so I'm not surprised he's like He's like at the back. So anyway, I'm going to take all my birds out. And then I'm going to show you guys how I literally take this huge cage out. And I'll be honest, I do have a unique method. And it's not going to work for everyone. Because like I said, I take the cage outside. And I have staircases in my house. So you guys are probably like, how is she going to take it out? I will be honest, I'm not going to really get too much into it. But it is a unique method. I don't think a lot of people have an elevator in their house. I have an elevator in my house, so we're gonna use the elevator. So all four of the birds are here, and then Kiwi really likes this cage for some reason, so she's hanging out over there. So yeah, and then I have to take all these out. Wish me luck. Other than the perches, the food bowls are also coming out, but other than the perches, everything's gonna come out. So I'm finally done emptying the bigger cage. Um, I'm gonna obviously remove those. Those are like extra toys. It's nothing unique, but yeah So everything other than the purchase because the purchase get to get washed as well. So I mean why not? This cage I have to do Both of the cages are now empty. I'm going to take each cage out one at a time This is just closer to the door. So most likely I'm gonna take this cage out clean this cage have that cage dry and while that's drying out in the sun, I'll, I'll just come back and take this one. They're probably going to take 15 minutes. I don't think so. It's going to take any longer. It's quite warm today. So, yeah, we'll just see how long it takes. And then I get to come back here and redecorate everything. So, yeah, let's, let's get started. So, I am going to rely on the hose to do most of the work. But in case I do have some tough spots, I am going to have to use a little bit of Dawn soap, not a whole lot. If you are going to use soap, just make sure you obviously rinse everything. You really don't want your bird to be, you know, obviously ingesting that. Um, but yeah, uh, just a tiny little bit. I'll sh if I do end up using it, I'll show it to you guys. 
but yeah these are the only supplies that i use you can benefit from having a toothbrush if you are going to open um the cage and get on the nooks and crannies um so yeah you could use a toothbrush and some people use other tools but honestly i find like these to be working well for me so i'm just going to bring these two and this is what it looks like so we're going to go to floor two so yeah this should make it to the garage floor safely so the cage is out right now um i'm just gonna hose it down um the only thing is i don't know how to film this so i might have to have it on my hand and show it to you guys as i go but yeah we'll see um let me first show you guys how dirty this cage is and then you guys can have a better look at it so the inside of the cage the perches are not too bad this one's a bit dirty their flat perch is quite good the top perches and the perches aren't too bad but um the bottom one so this is where they stand to eat their food as you can see it's a bit dirty so yeah and i really want to get that area because ew um but yeah this is what the cage looks like at the moment and hopefully i get to clean it So I forgot to mention you have to clean um, this part and also the wire which I'm going to take out. Um, it's kind of hard for me to do this all in one hand because I didn't bring my tripod which wasn't really smart when you think about it. But yeah, um, you just water it and then it kind of piles up at the bottom so I'm going to empty it. This is what it looks all soapy. Um, I'm just going to rinse this out really really well just to not have any residue so yeah. So I laid it over here. I'm going to make sure, you know, the sun's hitting it. So it's probably going to dry up soon. And then I'm going to do the other one as well. The other one, there's more parts to it. So not more parts. It's a lot dirtier, if that makes any sense. Because it's like wired. So there's more dirty bits to it. So I'm definitely not going to even bother. I'm just going to probably rinse it out a bit. And then I'm going to have to probably use soap. So I decided that it's just better if I have it out. And then, yeah, hold it down. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's all soapy. I'm just gonna rinse it. Time for rinsing. The cage is almost done, so I'm just going to rinse it. Okay, the cage is done. I might put this like over here because it's like, it's just probably going to drip down. So. I'll probably put this here, back to its original place. Um, the reason why I'm not putting that is that if I were to put that part back in, let me zoom, um, it just, the water won't really dry because it's just going to be a, like a whole puddled mess. If you are going to clean your bird's cages, just make sure you get like the rim, water rims and like the rims on the side because th there could be a lot of food that gets stuck there. So the next cage is over here. This one's the dirtier of the two. So this one's gonna take a bit longer. Both of the cages now are clean. They look great, fabulous. <laughs> Obviously I, I took quite a while. I didn't film a lot doing this cage. It was seriously the same thing. Those are drying up in there, um, for, like the bottom trays. So yeah, they're just gonna take a while to dry. This one's already, I would say, like 50% dry. As you could even see, like the perch, some parts are dry. So 
yeah we're done um i'm gonna obviously let them dry for at least half an hour maybe one just to be you know you know there's no rush i mean obviously my birds are free flying so they're just probably having a blast regardless so yeah once see they're dry i'm just gonna bring them in put their pellets in give their food give their toys i won't probably show how i decorate it because literally i only hang the toys um but um i'll show you guys when it's all done but it looks really nice very dry yeah i could leave this in my lawn no one's gonna steal it <laughs> my neighborhood is quite safe so yep let this dry and i have to do other errands in the meantime so it's been like 30 minutes and it's almost all dry there's only a little bit of water droplets this one's completely dry but this one just almost all dry you could look at the wood wood takes longer to dry but there's only a little bit of water that's um staying but they're all dry so i'm just gonna put the bottom trays and then i'm gonna take them inside so yeah this is just how i clean my bird cages a deep clean at the very least hey guys before i end the video um this is kind of what we ended up with um blossoms eating pellets and edward and kiwi are making sure i look like a bad owner kiwi was actually eating her pellets a while ago so i think um over here on the top wall it's not pellets it's kind of like herbs with rowdy bush pellets kiwi prefers rowdy bush but you never know she might she just kicked out <laughs> she just kicked out blossom anyway uh there's pellets in there it's harrison pellets um so that's their cage and then their water bowl is on the top and then this cage Someone's gonna look at the bottom and be like, oh my god, it's empty. I have a disabled bird in this cage. They are not going at the bottom of the cage. In fact, this cage is quite big, to be honest, for a disabled bird. But you know what? It's working. I will be honest with you. I haven't seen her once in the whole year go to the bottom. It's not because she's scared or anything. She's, she's blind. She's not gonna go to the bottom. She barely moves from her actual top part of the cage. And that's actually Muffin. She's being good. She's actually eating herbs right now. And there is, like I said, some rowdy bush pellets. And I want to show something because I'm so happy. Basil's eating Harrison pellets. Anyway, I don't want to bother her because, like, I don't want to just disrupt her eating habits, whatever. I'm happy I got it on camera. She actually wasn't that great when it came to eating her pellets. But for the past week and a half or so, she's been doing great when it came to eating her veggies and her pellets. So, guys, this is proof. Even if you get an older budgie, it doesn't matter. They could, well, she wasn't even old. She was six months old. So, but even if they are older, an older bird, they could still eat their pellets. And then we have this cutie. She unfortunately blossomed. She has been. Why did you get scared? I didn't even do anything. I'm so sorry. She unfortunately injured her leg. Um, I don't want to really zoom in. She's been asking for head rubs. I don't. I think it might be because she hasn't been able to use her foot as well um, because she injured her toenail. I don't know how to be honest. I don't even know if I could. Okay, you still want hair rubs. You got so spooked. Why did you get spooked? Anyway, um, she's been very good. Um, so yeah, but her toe, I don't know what happened. I tried, you know, looking at the cage and the toys. Um, there was a toy that I was kind of, she's just like more, there was, <laughs> there was a toy I was kind of suspicious of, I can't speak today, but I was a bit suspicious of that toy, and I didn't know 100% if that, it was that toy, it was, it was a natural toy, but there was a lot of threading pieces, not, not threading, but like, I don't know if it got tangled in her toe or something like that, so what I did, I just threw it out, just to be safe, hey buddy, okay, I think we're done. Blossom, are we done? <laughs> okay, so while I'm giving her head rubs, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update. I'm so happy about Basil. And then, yeah, Muffin's eating her pellets. So the ones that, the ones at the back, the two things, food bowls, they're their pellets. That one kind of like a treat bowl. I call it a treat bowl, but like there's um, herbs in it. Um, and then again a little bit of rowdy bush 
um, where's, where's Kiwi? Kiwi doesn't really like Harrison. She likes Rowdy, but so you often, I could often see Kiwi a lot of the times, you know, kind of going to that food bowl. So it's just that extra little bit that I have just in case she doesn't feel like eating Harrison. But today she did eat a bit of Harrison, so that's good. But yeah, instead of talking a lot, I just wanted to show you guys this is this is my cage so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching guys bye bye